Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be attempting to recreate Rhea Ripley from WWE, her makeup look that she typically does. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be doing all of the, the theatrical makeup down below that she does, but we're just gonna try our best and see how it goes. So if you are interested in recreating this look, stay tuned. But before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified each and every time I upload a video as well as giveaways. Which, by the way guys, we still have the giveaway for the 500 followers. I have so much stuff that I've actually added to it. So let's get it popping guys. 500 subscribers, woo! And then we do a drawing for the giveaway. Anyways, let's get right on in. So of course with, I believe it's pronounced Rhea, Rhea Ripley, and I'm looking over at my computer just to look at some information about her. She is 27 years old. She is five foot seven and she is in the WWE and she's from Australia. I'm looking at some of her makeup looks and so it looks like she has more of a purpley smoky eye look so we're gonna try to recreate it see how well we do with that and this was a highly requested makeup look they would like me to show them how to recreate this look and so they can do it we're gonna be using some of the colors from this palette like mini controversy from jeffree star and then the big controversy palette from Jeffree Star, as well as the beauty killer palette again from Jeffree Star. Don't come for me. All right, I have zoomed you all in and I know that you cannot see my lips, so it might be a little weird to just watch my eyes, but I wanna make sure that you guys see the full tutorial, get it up close and personal you can see everything that I am doing. Of course, we're gonna go in with our tried and true. This is the P. Louise, it is the base. And of course, we are gonna use Rumor 0.5. So now I remember watching WWE when I was younger. I remember, I remember The Rock, do you? Is it, do you know what the rock is cooking or do you smell or something like that? I can't remember. I'm old, y'all. I'm old and I can't remember things. But I remember that and then I remember the suck it. And then I remember I dated a guy. Shout out to Justin in Texas, who was my first boyfriend. Actually, I think he was my only boyfriend in Texas. And he loved, and I, can't, I think it was Austin. Steve Austin, he was obsessed with him. So then I became obsessed with Steve Austin because you know, that's just how you are when you're, when you're a little girl, you're like, oh, my boyfriend likes that. So I'm definitely gonna like that. <laughs> and I remember that we told each other that we loved each other, but the way that we would tell each other that we loved each other, even though I know that we just really liked each other, <laughs> Cause we were in, what grade was it? Sixth grade. And we would have these assemblies in the gym and we would do these assemblies and we had classes together, but I, we weren't in the same homeroom. So when we would have assemblies, he would sit across the gym. And so I would see him. <laughs> I know, I can't even do it. My base right now, I'm just laughing so hard remembering this. Like, I tell you what, guys, I can't remember what I ate this week, but I can tell you all about Justin and our romance in Texas in sixth grade. So we're sitting, we're sitting across from each other and we would do one, four, three. I love L-O-V-E-U, Y-O-U. 
<laughs> I'm gonna send this video to him so he can watch it and reminisce with me. Make him watch my makeup videos. Be like, hey, so you broke my heart. Just kidding. I, I don't know why we broke up. I don't know. I don't really remember. Sixth grade, you know how that is. So we're gonna go in with Cry on My Couch, this color right here for setting our base. Now I think I put way too much base on here, but it's okay, we will, we will work with it. So I do know that I moved away because my dad got transferred with the military, so we moved away. And I had, I made some really great friends there. Really, really great friends. I think that was the one place besides college that I just had really wonderful, amazing friends. And they were also nice and wonderful. And I think it's because everybody there, a majority of them, their parents were in the military, so they understood, you know, the moving away, dad deploying, all that stuff. And, and everybody's moms got along because they were all army wives and it was just really nice to be around those kinds of people because when I got to high school and I went to high school in Virginia and the kids there were not so nice. They all went to school with each other from the get go. They all went to school, basically preschool. They all went to preschool together. And I was the one of the odd one out, odd, odd ones, odd ones out, because I didn't grow up there. I didn't grow up with them. So I was just a little left out, didn't really fit in. I am friends with some of my friends from high school and some people that I didn't really talk to in high school that I wish I would have talked to in high school. So if you are still in school, just be nice to everybody, hang out with everybody because all the people that you think are the cool kids uh, in school, they're not gonna be your friends and they're gonna be the lamest people in the entire world. No doubt about it. And the people that are considered the nerds, the losers, yada, 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 those are the people that are gonna be the most loyal to you, the most trustworthy, just the most amazing friends, check on you, care about you. So be nice to those people. Oh, you saw Gus's, <laughs> Gus's head. I don't know if you can. <laughs> He's in my pink chair back there. And yay, I'm getting a FedEx package today. I'm getting, uh, I'm trying out, I think it's called Per, per, per Cat, Perfect Cat or something like that. Um, just to try to help from where I was fostering cats and they marked a little bit on the carpet and I've been trying to get it up and I can't. So I'm gonna try this product. So we shall see. All right, let's see what kind of color we wanna go in with. It looks like, no, this one might not be the right shade. She looks like she has more of a brighter purple for her make for her makeup looks. It looks like a little bit brighter of a purple. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. So controversy, this one right here, looks just like a shade that she a shade that she has. So we're also gonna do a wear test with this look with the foundation that I'm gonna try out because because I I am going to brunch with some of my girlfriends from this workout group that we're all in. So I'm excited. We're gonna go in with a very fluffy brush. I wish it would focus. Maybe if I did this. This is the Morphe X Jeffree Star and is JS6. So we're just gonna pop, pop it in here. It looks like she really takes it up above. She has hooded eyes too, which is awesome because it makes recreating this look a little bit easier for me just seeing, oh, okay, she has hooded eyes. This is how she does it. And so you'll see me looking from time to time over at my computer screen here, just to see what I've got, what I'm working with. All right. But yeah, I really enjoyed Texas. I wish I would have kept up with friends there. Uh, I just happened to find Justin on Facebook only because he has a really, 
unique last name. So I kept up with him. But everybody else, like Janine, I don't know what happened to her. Her mother, she had the most gorgeous skin. She had like that Tyra Banks caramel color and she had like the most beautiful blondish caramel, naturally caramel colored hair. Her mom, her mom was from Germany. And her dad met, her mom, I'm pretty sure, if I remember the story correctly, met in Germany when he was stationed there. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Just a little bit more purple. So I'm excited about going to brunch. I've not gone to brunch with girlfriends in a while. I actually noticed that I hadn't done a lot of things that I've wanted to do with, with friends because dating my ex, I realize now that he was very controlling of my time and what I did, even though he didn't live here. And so I mostly stayed at home or I was out there. If I wasn't out there, he wasn't out here. I stayed at home doing just cleaning stuff or playing video games, but a lot of times I couldn't do that because he would just want to call and chat. And, and one of my friends pointed that out. She said, you know, he knew that you were hanging out with me and all of a sudden he just needed to talk to you. And, and she's like, you know, I can't get mad at you because you know, that was important to you. And so I'm excited to be doing more things with girlfriends and even my guy friends. I'm really excited to hang out now with my guy friends even more now. I have a really good group of guy friends that I met at work. Oh yeah, that's really pretty guys. Look at that purple, it just pops. And it blends so easily with primer on the lids. Now I'm not obviously gonna do some of the looks that she does with makeup down here just because I'm going to brunch and I don't wanna look too terribly crazy. <laughs> So I do feel really bad and guilty that I did that. Um, I'm sad that I did that. I'm sad that I didn't notice it. Maybe if I don't exactly pack it in. We're gonna use this brush here. I don't know who it's from. There's no... We're gonna try from the Controversy palette, Not A Fact. We're gonna try that more so on the lid. See how that looks. There's a purpley shade and it's darker. It's more of a burgundy purple though. I just wanna add a little bit more dimension to the look before we go in and smoke her out. So, I'm really happy, especially cause Jordan and I have been playing video games a lot lately, which makes me happy because I love playing video games with Jordan and Jordan is one of my best friends and I noticed that once my other friend brought it up about my ex, you know, always just wanting to talk to me and stuff like that, I, I now realize that all the times that Jordan and I would play video games, we would play for maybe an hour, if that, but half the time we couldn't play because I needed to have date night with my ex, so. I'm sad about that, but I'm happy that I have a good group of friends that that doesn't take it personally. They realize, you know, now what kind of a person I was dealing with and they're very patient and they recognize and they are so good to me. So, so, so good to me. So I'm very happy to have such wonderful friends. Oh yeah, this deep purple I thought was not gonna make this look good. But yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely good. Now I don't know if I want to do one of these purpley shades here in the, in the palette, but I might try it out. Now, if you've noticed, I've not done my, I've not done my eyebrows yet. I've noticed that I'm going to do my eyebrows last after doing foundation and whatnot, because I've noticed that after setting my face, my eyebrows get really white. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with that sparkly purple, which is called Indica Bling. We're just gonna use a flat brush. I'm waiting for the brightness to catch up with me. Yeah, that's really pretty. So I'm just kind of 
pushing it in more so and then spreading out just a little bit. Now we are getting some really weird weather today in Vegas. Apparently in the higher elevations, it's gonna be a really bad winter storm. And here for us in the Vegas Valley, it is going to be uh, very windy. And it's supposed to rain. And I saw the beautiful rain clouds this morning, but sometimes what sucks about living in Vegas is it does not rain because it just goes up, for some reason the weather just goes up the mountain, so. Do you guys have any interesting memories from when you were, when you were a kid? Do you have any crushes, boyfriends, girlfriends? It's really funny too, he would always give me his, oh he loved the cowboys. And he would always give me his little cowboys windbreaker pullover, pullover jacket. And I'd always wear it and take it home with me because it smelled like his cologne. And I swear to you, if I smelled that cologne today, I would just instantly think of him. Instantly. Oh, Justin. <laughs> and I don't even, he probably doesn't know any, any of this at all because <laughs> he just probably just doesn't know because I've obviously never told him about this. <laughs> So we're just gonna go in with that first purple we used. Just got a little bit on the brush and we're just kind of blending, blending it out. I'm just barely dipping into the color in the palette and then going over. All right, so next up we are going with my rides here, which is black and just smoke this out. Getting very little on the brush because we can smudge it out with a bigger fluffy brush but we just want to have control over how smoky we make this look and I'm gonna kind of push it into my lash line and I'm just bringing it up so we're gonna do a faux wing liner because in another video you guys will see I'm not so good at wing liner and I should practice more. The girl who does my lashes, she's so sweet, Annie. She was telling me how she loved watching my videos, which makes me really happy because she's not only an esthetician, but she's a makeup artist and she's really good. Really, really good. All right, so again, we're gonna use that brush with the purpley on it, that first color that we used, and we're just gonna use it to very lightly smoke the black out and so it's not so harsh, but blends in seamlessly. This is actually a fun look that I'm doing here. So I'm not sure when we're gonna post this video but if you would like to follow, I'm going through a really in-depth, intensive outpatient, a trauma healing therapy, and I'm gonna post and share my journey on TikTok. So I will link all socials below. You can follow that journey there. I'm really excited about it and it's much needed, especially after my last ex, so. I hope you guys follow me along. If you have questions, definitely ask them over there about the therapy. I'm just going a little tighter with the, with that black that's still on my, I'm gonna dip just a little bit in there. But I'm very excited about it. I start it Monday and you guys can catch up. I'll put it on a playlist. I'll make it a playlist on the Tiki Talks. All right guys, I think that this look is done. What do you guys think? I definitely think it's just so beautiful, these purples, and they really bring out my eyes. Oh, we are going to do with a flat brush, we're gonna go in with a really white shimmery shade called Ranch, which cracks me up because I love Ranch. And I'm just very slightly just because I don't want too much and I don't want to take away from the beautiful purple color. I'm going to go in with micellar water and we're going to clean up the eye look. 
just like this and I push it on and drag it down so I get that really nice clean crisp line and what I'm doing is following this bottom lash line going up and I get a little bit more on the tissue here and I'm not, I know a lot of people will come for me and say, oh, you're dragging, you're not supposed to drag, but it's I'm not dragging, dragging per se. I'm just kind of like slightly pulling down. So I'm not tugging at my skin. Just getting some of that purpley shimmery shade up un from underneath my eye. I'm gonna prep the skin with the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Let that soak in for a minute. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys on out. And we're actually gonna use some micellar water on a little spoolie so I can clean off any of the purple got on my lashes. And going in with a dry spoolie. I'm just making sure everything stays separated, doesn't clump up. Now that I think the skin is prepped and ready and dry, we're gonna go in with my sample, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a full size of this. It is the It Cosmetics in the shade Fair Light. And I did get my little blender sponge nice and wet. Well, I should say damp. Nice and wet, that's what she said. Trying to get the point to get into some of these little corners of the container. And then using this side to just Pounce it into the skin. Get up underneath the eye. It smells like it has skincare in it. I can't tell what this scent is, but it's it's nice and it's light. Don't know if I like the flat side as much. I'm so used to the points. I'm gonna do half a face first and see see what she looks like. It still looks like my natural skin. So I don't have any on here yet and you can see it's a red, red undertone. I'm definitely gonna buy the full size of this foundation, which means you know it must be really good because I usually just get sample sizes because I can't commit to a foundation. As much as I can't commit to a foundation that I can't commit to a man, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> I like to poke fun at myself or just try to have some humor and everything that I've just gone through the last year and a half, almost two years. I don't know if you guys watched my videos with where I did makeup with the kids and he's featured in some of my videos and you know, we had good times and although I don't know how much of it was just a show and not the truth. I'd like to always remember in my mind that the wonderful times we had were wonderful times. That they were wonderful times and they were they were real and I'm take it down my neck a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm thinking this is this is marvelous, darling, marvelous. So I'm gonna do a light dusting with a fluffy brush, like such. We're gonna go in with the Laura Mercier powder. Just set everything. I'm going to go in with this from Spec Spectrum. Can you autofocus for me? Just to get up underneath my under eye. And just push it in there. My under eye, I tend to get a lot of fallout from my mascara. And I would like some in this corner here, but I don't want too much because I don't want it to cakey up. I don't want to be cakey. My nose gets a little oily. This is a little sample size that I got of the translucent powder that I'm using. It will focus. Laura Mercier. 
brows. Gonna be going in with the NYX Professional in the shade Cool Ash Brown. Brushing them down here. I'm excited about brunch. We're gonna check out this place called Flower Child in Summerlin. I've never been, so I'm excited to check it out. Normally I look at the menu before I go someplace because I get really excited about new places. <laughs> and I just wanna look at the menu and get excited about what I'm gonna eat. But I have not looked up the menu. It's felt like the longest week in history and I've just had a lot going on. I ever hate that when it just, you're at Friday and it feels like Wednesday, not Friday, and you're like, ugh, like what the hey? I will say too that with my ex and with taking up a lot of my, a lot of my time, I didn't get to go to a lot of the church events. Well, not church events, but a lot of the events that a lot of the women in the church would put on, like girls night and things like that, and I'm, really upset by it because I didn't go, especially to a friend's baby shower, which, girl, if you're watching this video, I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry that I didn't come and it was stupid because he knew about the baby shower but decided to come into town anyways. And I felt guilty just leaving him because he came into town to see me. So, and I think that's maybe part of why I don't get invited a lot now to things because I can understand like, what's the point of inviting Becca? Because she's not gonna come anyways cause she got that stupid boyfriend of hers. We're gonna go in with the Alomar fluffy brush here. We're gonna go in with the NARS Orgasm X, this shade here for blush. But yeah, I've noticed that they post pictures and things like that of all the events like birthdays and just fun little things and I'm sad about it, but you know, I did it to myself. So how sad can I really be? So I'm hoping that I can mend those friendships too and start getting invited again to stuff. Cause I would, I would like to get invited. Cause it looks like fun and I've always had fun with those girls and it's wonderful. Now it is starting to do its weird little separation thing up here. And it might be because I didn't use a primer. I almost forgot eyeliner. Cause she has a very dark line that she does. I don't know if I like that. I might smudge it out a little bit. So now you can see where you can go from a daytime look to a nighttime look really easy. Maybe I should have saved the daytime look to the daytime. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm just using what's left on this brush from the black that we use. I do have some creasing in my under eye. I don't think I want that mascara. I don't think I'm gonna put mascara on because it'll just get all up in my business. But I do have some creasing. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Just a little settling in my and then for the bronzer, we will use the NARS. This is Laguna in the shade here. And I always like this short, fat little brush from P. Louise. And I just kind of stipple it, push it up so I get a clean, crisp line. I always do this now, I've learned, that dragging, dragging it does not create a nice line for me and then I just fade it out. Just blend that into the hairline here. All right, she tends to do black lipstick, but we are not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. I'm going with a fluffy brush with a little bit of highlighter. All right, with Lily in my lap, we're gonna try to put on lip liner. We're gonna use uh, MAC in the shade Whirl. You just need some love? You just need some love from your mamas? I don't know if you can hear her purring or not. And we're gonna go with Jeffree Star's Thick as Thieves. 
can't tell if that was the one that was from his Shane Dawson, uh, his Shane Dawson collab, because that one smells like Dr. Pepper. And then last but not least, the last step, we are going to, again, use the Farsali. Hopefully Lily doesn't get mad at me. She's like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, she just left. <laughs> She's like, what did you just spray, mom? All right, now I'm gonna go not do my hair, just pull it up in a messy bun today, because that's the vibe. All right, so before I go to brunch with my girlfriends, here is a close-up look of the makeup look that I just did. It's beautiful, right? I'm really liking this. We'll see how it wears down throughout the day. I'll pop in later tonight and we shall see. And we'll see the foundation too, how it, how it wears down. So far I like it, except for, I don't know why, foundation seems to really settle really weird up in here for me. But I'm definitely loving this look, so I will pop in in a little bit when I'm back from brunch, and then I'll do another check-in later in the evening. And yeah, we will see you guys. See you in a bit. All right, everybody, I am back. It is the end of the, well, it's the end of the day. It is 1.24 a.m. And I put on this makeup this morning at at nine. So let's zoom in and see how she held up. Okay, so first off, obviously the lips aren't going to last last as long just because I was eating and drinking. But for eating and drinking today as much as I have, I stayed on pretty well. Uh, it did settle a little bit into my forehead lines. The foundation did and below the eyeshadow and that was pretty early on in the day today did fall down here and it's been me wiping it off with my finger um the blush i do think that it settled very nicely on my skin um however where i did get sauce and stuff it did uh <laughs> It did like rub off there or I tried to like blot it with my napkin. It did okay around the nose. It did settle into some of my pores. However, though, this eye makeup look uh, bomb, it has stayed on all day and there's no creasing. Um, actually, there's just a little bit, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to look and close my eyes at the same time. Okay, do you want up here too? Come on. All the cats just have to be up here tonight, huh? You got some stinky breath, dude. So now the eye makeup look, and you're gonna hear purring because the cats, it's the end of the night and they're all ready for me. <laughs> they're all ready for me to go to bed. They're like, let's go to bed and snuggle, mom. So I'm gonna get ready and do that, but I wanted to hop on here and show you guys. The, the makeup look though, the way it's settled, I actually really like it. It actually looks beautiful the way the colors have settled in. And I actually got a lot of compliments today about how beautiful, how beautiful the blending was and how you could really just see all the colors. Uh, that made me really happy. So I'm gonna look into the monitor here just to make sure that you guys can see everything that I am seeing. But as you can see, all of the colors, they just blended out really well together and just very minimal creasing. But otherwise, for being on for over 12 hours, this is great. And I don't think normally any of us would be wearing makeup for more than 12 hours. So it held up really nice. I think maybe I'm gonna try the foundation maybe with a different primer just to see how that works. But other than that, I think it looks great. But you can see right here, we're started settling into my pores on that side. Too. All right guys, so that is it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave the comments below. Be sure to give this a thumbs up because when you guys thumbs up my videos, it actually helps get me into the algorithm and so other people who might be interested in my videos get the opportunity to see my videos. And last but not least, 
be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that bell icon so you get notified each and every time and shadow would like that too because if we get to 500 followers <laughs> i can do ads and then shadow will get more treats and life will just be good <laughs> show you the the fur babies here i think pop is sleeping on the ottoman i'm not exactly sure but I've got the cats here in my lap, both of them. So they would really appreciate it if you helped their mommy out. And that's it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Oh yeah, you're gonna get up here? Okay. We're gonna have a party?